We're at Cottesloe Beach today and don't let those blue skies fool you. It was pretty cool and it was blowing a gale. And in fact, that when I sat down at the cafe there for a coffee, my number for my table kept on getting blown off onto the ground. But I visited uh, two cafes in the Cottesloe area because I was having a look at the route uh, for a new bike path that council has just approved and it's a bit controversial because there's some residents along here that really don't want a bike path going across their verges and I'm doing some separate videos on that but today let's just have a look at the cafes, the coffee and the bike parking. So first one uh, right on the beach, fantastic views, quite a reasonable amount of bike parking here and if you don't mind sitting out the back of the cafe without a view you can keep an eye on your bike. So really good. Now come summer, this beach is going to be wall to wall people and the roads are going to be completely congested with people wanting to drive down here and find a parking spot. So having bike parking facilities down at the beach is really important as well as having a safe, convenient bike lane that you can use to take the pressure off the road system. Now this other cafe is up in this uh, Eric Street shops and I uh, just bypassed the bike parking there completely because I wasn't sure if they were open so I walked down there to say hey you guys open and couldn't be bothered going back and putting my bike in the rack and just parked it up and had my coffee and yeah this place is quite nice surprised it didn't have more people but what the heck it's got good bike parking so again just going back to this idea that you know it's quite normal over here to, for cafes to have bike parking. Look, not every cafe has bike parking. Not every cafe has conveniently located bike parking. They might have bike parking, but it's not in a great spot. But this is just, you know, it's just frustrating that uh, councils in Sydney are not picking up on this idea that if they put in bike parking at destinations, then it takes the pressure off the roads, it takes away congestion, and it takes away parking hassles at really popular destinations like the beach.